Did you know? Yoshi's Island almost didn't have its colorful hand-drawn art style. While he was working on Super Mario World, Mario creator Shigeru Miyamoto decided Yoshi should be the star of his own game. Past Yoshi titles failed to impress Miyamoto, so he decided to make his own Yoshi game instead. His initial demo used graphics similar to previous Mario games, but were then rejected by the marketing team at Nintendo. They told Miyamoto to try pre-rendered graphics like Donkey Kong Country, as Country had received acclaim for its visuals. Rather than following the marketing team's suggestions, Miyamoto instead redesigned the game to be even more cartoonish. And this redesign was approved, leading to the art style we see today. While the English version of Yoshi's Island is called Super Mario World 2, the original Japanese title is simply Super Mario Yoshi's Island. The name was changed in the West to capitalize on the success of Super Mario World. Yoshi's could also eat the dolphins in the Japanese version of Super Mario World, but not in the international versions. This was presumably due to cultural differences. However, this was not true for the Game Boy Advance remake, as Yoshi could eat the dolphins in all versions of the game. In the German release of Yoshi's Island, the level Touch Fuzzy, Get Dizzy was called Lustiges Spaurendrama, which abbreviates to LSD, possibly as a nod to the hallucinogenic effects of the fuzzies in the level. The extra level in World 6 has a segment where the player rides a series of moving platforms that spell out Yoshi's name. In the original Japanese version, Version, though, it's written as Yasi. Bert the Bashful, the mid-boss of World 1, resembles a character named Obelix from the French comic series Asterix. Fittingly, Bert's name in the French version of Yoshi's Island is Gros Belixo, with Gros meaning fat and Belixo being an anagram of Obelix. In another international reference, the boss of World 3, Naval Piranha, is called Audrey in the German version of the game, alluding to the creature from the Little Shop of Horrors. Naval Piranha actually has another unique secret. When the player approaches the room, Naval Piranha can be seen in its unenlarged state. If time right, the player can throw an egg and defeat it in one hit, surprising Kamek and allowing the player to bypass the entire fight. There's even a reference to this in Yoshi's Woolly World. Sneaking up on and hitting Naval Piranha with a yarn ball will trigger a similar cutscene, but the battle continues once it's over. And in World 4-1 of Yoshi's Island, there's a rock formation that resembles a topless woman. There's an easy-to-miss easter egg in the Jungle Hut level of Yoshi's story. Hitting the spiders with an egg in the uppermost hut affects the music that plays in the background. Each of the six spiders is essentially a trigger that changes which instruments are played. There's also a musical secret in the trial mode. If the level select screen is left to loop eight times, the elusive Totaka's song will play. Totaka's song is a 19-note melody by Nintendo sound designer Kazumi Totaka, and it's often hidden in Totaka's games. Yoshi's Story was the first game to give Yoshi an actual voice, which was provided by Kazumi Totaka himself. Totaka's voice clips were reused for all Yoshi appearances in later Yoshi games, Mario games, and Super Smash Bros. It wasn't until Super Mario Galaxy 2 that new voice clips were recorded, with Totaka reprising his role over a decade after the release of Yoshi's Story. The Yoshi series has a fair amount of unused content. In Yoshi's Island, there are three scrap transformations for Yoshi, an airplane, a mushroom, and a tree. There are several unused enemies, including a larger version of the Ukiki designed to resemble Donkey Kong. A red cannon that fires heat-seeking bullet pills also appears. And while never used in the original Yoshi's Island despite being fully functional, the red cannons did appear in the Game Boy Advance remake in World 6's secret level. There was a specifically made demo based on Yoshi's story that went unused. It was made to show off the graphical features of the Game Boy Advance when the system was unveiled, and the gameplay was changed from the N64 game as Yoshi could not throw eggs or use his tongue. In many Mario spin-off games, Yoshi is paired up with Birdo, sometimes as a couple. Birdo has a long history of controversy surrounding her gender, but Yoshi's gender is a subject of confusion as well. When the topic came up during an Awada Asks interview, Shigeru Miyamoto said, Sometimes people ask whether Yoshi is a boy or a girl. If I answer probably a boy, then they say, so a boy is laying eggs? But the moment I say Yoshi lays eggs so Yoshi must be a girl, they'll say, then Yoshi's voice needs to sound more like a girl's. But I want to make video games without having to worry about such background info. One curious part of Yoshi's anatomy is the saddle on his back. According to longtime Mario series designer Takashi Tezuka, Yoshi was originally supposed to be a type of Koopa. That saddle you see on his back was actually his shell. And for anyone who's wondered what Yoshi looks like without his shoes, he apparently has padded feet.
Since you're watching this video, you're probably into games and maybe movies too. If so, consider subscribing to Loot Crate. Loot Crate is a monthly subscription service that delivers a box of gaming and pop culture merch right to your door. The crates have a different theme each month and all the loot inside relates to that theme. In the past, crates have been filled with Zelda and Star Wars goodies as well as gear from the Marvel Universe and more. A subscription is less than $20 per month and crates are guaranteed to have a value of $40 or more. Loot Crate is offering Did You Know Gaming viewers 10% off your subscription. So, if you like unique gaming collectibles and want to support Did You Know Gaming, head over to LootCrate.com DYKG and enter the code DYKG for 10% off on any new subscription. You can get there by clicking the link below. Don't forget to subscribe to Did You Know Gaming for more facts and trivia, and if you like this video, give it a like! And you should totally go subscribe to me too, please, and check out my video on Stardew Valley. It's a farming game where you farm, and I also try and win the heart of an emo boy, and you could go find out how that goes in my video. It's a treat. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Bye!